about it. Delve into the world of relationships, business, and politics with hosts Lamar Clark, Dorshall Clark, and Dominique Hagler on People Think About It, where thought-provoking discussions abound. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to People Think About It. We're going to get into a subject today. I mean, it's been going on uh, for the last week or so about the dating scene and uh uh, we're going to talk about this scene where the person went out and ordered 48, slurped down 48 orchards, and the gentleman walked out. So we're going to get into a little bit of that with our guests. Uh, we got a guest, Brother Mustafa, Brother Mike, and Dominique, our co-host. So we're going to get right into it. So we're going to be gentlemen. We're going to ask Dominique first. Dominique, so tell us, have you seen it, or, or what do you feel about that? Ooh. Yes. Okay. So, of course, I've seen it because I stay on social media. That's my thing. But um, as far as how I feel, now, I'm not trying to be a pick-me on this situation. So, who's ever listening, keep your comments to yourself. But what I am going to say is I feel like I have seen a couple of lists. Let me say that, for starters. Um, Now, the one that lists the Cheesecake Factory and all of that, I feel like it is very unreasonable. And I feel like it's... Things like that are going to keep us divided Um, when it comes to, like, being in relationships, having fulfillment in that space, because we're going to be so far apart. Like, oh, I don't want to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, I don't. Don't take me to the, you know, for a walk on the park, you know, to the park or whatever. It's, It's so many rules and regulations to how we date. Like, why can't we just go outside and just chill? Like. Why is it that, oh, you need to take me to the sundial or you need to take me to Ruth Chris in order for me to want to kick it with you another time? Like, first of all, let me see if we even like each other. The vibe may be off. Like, the Cheesecake Factory may be sufficient. We can go to the buffet and figure that out. So you mentioned Ruth Chris, but isn't Ruth Chris like a chain restaurant? I mean, it is, but, you know. But I'm saying people people look at it for a higher upper scale. Right, exactly. It's not your Longhorn, you know, or your Applebee's, but I just feel like the lists are unrealistic. So Um, what is Ruth Chris? Is that like a Frankie's? I've never seen that before. Yes, Ruth Chris is similar to a Frankie's. It's a steakhouse. Okay, okay. So so just getting into this, uh, you know, this scene of dating in in, in Atlanta, uh, because this incident happened in Atlanta. So just dating period out here in these streets and, you know, like you say, people are starting to get to the point, uh, you, I, I'm only going to go if you take me here, do this, do that, which, I mean, you're trying to get to know each other. So some of those things shouldn't even really matter. Right. Right. So we're going, we're going, brother Mike, let, let, let's talk to you a little bit here. So, I, I, I don't know if you saw it, So, but what do you think about that? Uh, you know, you're trying to get to know somebody and you're taking them out. And in, in so many ways, they're taking advantage of it. They really probably don't like you or they don't even know you, but they get to a restaurant and start ordering all this food and stuff. Yeah, I just think that's out of pocket, man. Um, yeah. I just think there's no place for that. You know, like she said, um, I think it could, it could be as simple as just going to get a cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? Just going to get some ice cream or something. I don't think there's nothing wrong with Cheesecake Factory. I'm not a fan of it personally, <laughs> but I don't think there's nothing wrong with it, you know, right. as as far as a first date. Okay. Um, but I just think sometimes expectations can be a little little out of pocket. But I think from what I heard, like, she, she wasn't even interested or something like yeah, that. Yeah, she wasn't even interested in him. She, she even said on a video when she was talking about it that she was videoing it for her own content. Because I just heard last <laughs> week, I heard last week, it is, um, she, she, she's gone so far and so many people have seen it. She got, she got like 5 million views of this thing now. But the most impressive thing, most of the women that have seen it feel like she's dead wrong because she took advantage of the guy. Right. He should have walked out. He, Thanks. I, you know. He should have walked out. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oysters are expensive. And my good sis, you're not about to sit here and order 48 oysters. And I'm not about to walk out. Here's the thing. I'm trying to get to know you. Why can't we have a cocktail? And maybe if I decide to say, hey, you want to get an advertiser? Cool. Then do that. But you... Decided to do what you did. Well, now you need to pay for right. it. Right, she sorry. did. She did orchards and started ordering crab cakes and all yeah, this. That's stuff. too far. Like, She's out of line. Yeah, I feel like if she was by herself, she would have not ordered all that. Right, but, but she ended up having to pay. So, so well, she, she should have had there. But the the thing that we were discussing is that I wouldn't have went to the bathroom and then not show back up. I would have just said, "Hey, look, I'm not paying for that. Wait up, give me the drink bill." 
and I'll pay for that, and the rest of that's on her. I mean, I'd have been bar dark. I don't know you, so what? What I got to lose? Right. You know what I mean? And I would that that would have been me standing up and being a man. Right. You know because she's sitting back and just taking total advantage of this guy, which most people thought. Yeah. You know, in the view. So what do you what do you think, brother Musa? Well, I, I wouldn't have walked out. I mean, just start from the very beginning. The initial uh, agreement was to meet and for drinks, right? So the reason I wouldn't have walked out is uh, it would. I know this is a, a PG thirteen show. It would have been a lot of expletives. Right. You can say what you want on this show. It's Paul people think about you. Hey, don't Okay. You know what I mean? I'm, listen, I'm Generation X. So I'm, 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 I'm 51 years old. I would have sat back down after the third drink. So let's play in the scenario. Five seconds. He met her there in Ponce Highlands. Right? Now, in Virginia, Ponce Highlands, most people see these upscale uh, tapas bars or whatever. So if they met there, and uh, I frequent this area much and often. I'm grown. You ain't got oyster bar, did you? No, 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 no. no I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna eat that because it's messy. So if I'm dressed up and then we out on a date, the first mistake is to order something messy. Then, as we're drinking, what? How the bill got to 185 dollars? I start with the number. So he met her there. So obviously, typically women are late, right? It's your own prerogative to show up. So wow. you show up fast and be late. So I'm on my second drink at the bar. Now, drinks typically did like about twelve to fifteen dollars, similar to another place called Whiskey mm-hmm. Mistress in Buckhead. Now, I'm on the third drink. She arrives. Oh, there go there go cutie right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, how you doing? Okay, we sit down, and she said, "Go ahead, and get your drink, right?" Or she, you know, ordered a drink, or we closed out and sat at the bar. Hmm. So, on the third or fourth drink, and you start ordering. So, so let me ask you this: If you oh, ask let me, somebody, let me, get, let me get to the expertise. Okay, if I'm sitting back, I'm seeing you order. Twelve oysters, raw oysters, come to horseradish, come with the uh, cocktail sauce, come with the lemon. On the fourth plate, I would have looked at it like this. You got me fucked up, <laughs> right? First of all, what you think this is? Back up. You said drinks. Ah, uh-uh. So then when she starts stuttering, I would have been like, waiter, come here. She ordered crab cakes. She ordered... Four Orson. plates. Orson. That's 12. 12 times 4 is 48. Now, how did we get to 185 hours? She kept ordering more drinks also. Mm. So well, I would well, excuse her. I want to curse her out because well, I obviously would say she inebriated. Well, well here, here's my Doing that one. If you, and I and I don't know because I, I don't drink. I would have paid for the whole thing then walked out. No, I wouldn't have paid oh. for nothing. I wouldn't have paid for the whole <laughs> thing. I'm but let me, let me, I'm let me. some ass tonight. No, I, I knew that. <laughs> First of all, I would have paid for everything. No, no, because this person, their expectations is quid pro quo. Now we already discussed this. You met me here. But, but I didn't let, come pick you up. Let me ask you this question. So what you though. expect? Let me ask you this question. In 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 no. getting to know somebody, and you offer, I had a whole week. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on, <laughs> hold on. And you offer somebody out to drink. Uh-huh. What is your expectations or how many drinks they're going to have? I would say three as a woman. Unlimited. No, no, no. Well, I mean, what do you I think, Mike? Yeah, because you're getting full name. No. Because I, I, me, I'm thinking I don't drink, but if I offer you out to drink, I'm looking at, okay, most people I know they drink. About the three. I say one, two, that third drink, they starting to get a little, you know, a little, <laughs> little, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking maybe three, four drinks. So I'm saying I don't know how many drinks she had, but after that third drink, that would have been hers too. I mean, no one does that at a bar. You never see anybody do this. Okay, stop. You know, cut their cut off. I, I mean, I've been in Dallas, and but I was with my, with my with my lady. After the third or fourth drink, and we started to think it was a little bit of bias, he he pointed at her and said, oh, she's cut off. We went back the second night. I said, you're a glutton for punishment. It happened twice. But when you out on a date and you invite somebody for drinks... It's an infinity. You, no, not, no, I don't think so. They get what sloppy. Think, they get sloppy. Well, I mean, they get drunk. That's yeah, what. But, but that's what, what I was think? about to say. Like, if we out on a day trying to get to know each other, and I'm trying to get wasted, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. see, that's to me. So. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, like, keep it cute yeah. and keep it one or two. Like, we not down in bottles. Like, that's I, not what we I, came here right. for. Go to the bar. Like, go, go. See, it ain't no unlimited with me. See, and then my 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 thing is this: don't do to me what you won't do by yourself. 
You know what I mean? But then you don't know that. You learning them. Because all the rules doesn't apply on the day. I mean, I just really think... Well, I mean, I mean, all jokes aside, it really is about this. It's an uneven expectation. I stopped... Uh, I was at breakfast and I stopped the guy. I'm a businessman. I, I said, what is going on? So I kind of figured he was, you know, in the same age group subsection. He said, now, a lot of times here in Atlanta... The dating scene is messed up because he put it on the females. Unfortunately, this is what he said. I didn't say this. Yeah, let me hear so this. He said a lot of women do not want to go out to meet you. They only going out for an experience. So a lot of these guys, they talking about flying you out. I, I would agree dummy, with that. I, that's dummy. fair. You pull out the credit card, and we somewhere like Rue Chris or what's that other place that was right there at Buckhead, right next to the mall. That's where uh, Woodfire Grill. Woodfire mm-hmm. Grill. Dummy, everybody pulling out the Delta credit card, everybody pulling out the FedEx credit card. Then That's number three opinion. is you met her there. You valet, she Ubered. What you think gonna happen? You valet, she Ubered. She was there waiting on you. Well, I, I mean, I mean, so me like, personally, I ain't gonna look that deep in it. My thing is this. Deep, 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 my my thing is this. I had a Go ahead, Dominic. Say what you gonna say. Whole week to Hold on. Well let let's uh, let's um, it. No, I mean, ultimately I just feel like that. She didn't like him, and she knew that. And I feel like, how much did y'all communicate? Because I know at the end of the day, I'm not going out on a date with you if I already did not. Like, if we didn't catch that vibe over the phone, and then it wasn't a true vibe, and I could feel energy very clear. So, how did y'all get that far anyway? Let's just talk about that, period. Like, I already know I don't like you. Like, I know I don't like you, and you probably can feel the vibe. I'm not hitting your line. I'm not doing nothing. So, how do we get on a date? Where now... We we linking up and we going out for drinks and now I'm doing this like that's crazy. I, I think and I'm, I'm I'm speaking as a man. I'm thinking that this guy DMing her. He think he gonna get. He go, he think he gonna score. He think he gonna score. So. He didn't know that the score was going to cost him $185. Well, his intentions was wrong. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, now, here we go. So, so then, everybody got to be accountable for their actions at the end of the day. Right. She got to be accountable accountable for getting 48 oysters and wilding out and putting it on the media. And he got to be accountable because he went in there with the wrong intentions. So well, that's just my, I'm, I'm saying that, but as a I man, what you think? what would you think? What would you think his expectation the, 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 was? The, the big picture was unrealistic expectation because the reason why is I'm not inviting a lady out for drinks. Mm-hmm. That, that's that's big red flag. Number two is the whole thing, the whole big picture was about a photo op. She used him for a photo op. Then she ordered crack. You heard in the recorders like, oh, baby. Mm-hmm. You heard that part. Oh, yeah. So, well, so I'm so getting she that. she figured like. She is only paying for <laughs> red carpet treatment because she was going to use him to show off, mm. and well, it backfired. Well, let me let me tell you the story that I I don't know if y'all watch Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco. So they was every everybody's been talking about this. Yeah. So Shannon was talking about when he first came into the NFL, he was a seventh round draft pick. So he didn't get for like twenty two thousand okay. dollars. So he was like, you know, you got to take care of mom and send some money home to mom and this and that. Now. He's like, you know, I was trying to help my girl get to school, so I was sending her money and this and that and other. So he had went out on this date. So he said when he went out on a date, you know, he had his little coins. He like, all right, I'm going to let her order first, and then, you know, I can base on what I'm going to get off of what she ordered. So he, the waiter came, he ordered. So he, she was still looking through the menu. And he was like, what, you ain't found nothing you want to eat yet? So she said, mm, I'm trying to see what goes good with these locks. Lobsters, and he said a condom. <laughs> he said a condom, but he le- he didn't want to no baron. He just let her know, you order that lobster, we can reuse a condom. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I just, you know, you learn somebody. I mean, to me, when you learn somebody, why not be just upfront? You know, I had I had a, fr- a, a friend of mine. I tried to get him to the show today. You know, because he's on the Atlanta dating scene, and he said trash. he he called. He met the, he was meeting the girl at the restaurant, right? He driving a minivan. So he said when he rode by, he knew she seen him. So he was walking the van. And she said, when he got out of the car, she said, Is that your car? So from the guy, from them getting to the point of meeting, talking, and everything. I'm laughing because I done did the same thing. <laughs> you know, I pulled up on the date. But man. is it that serious? Oh, this is my work call. Is, 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 is it that serious that what is the mentality of you dealing with somebody even after, you know, you pull up and, hey, if you got to drive in a minivan, you're driving a minivan. Okay, well, back to the minivan. So, so we pull up. 
I pulled up. She was already in the parking lot waiting for me, right? So when I pulled up in the minivan, I got I was like, oh, this is just the work car, right? And no signal, nothing, whatever, right? So you led with a lie. Yeah, right? But with, <laughs> I, I, it did it end with so, a so, so, huh? Did it end with a condom? No, I ain't used no condom. Oh, Jesus. Well, I mean, Look, that's it, another time it ended, up at, it ended so, up at the clinic. So, <laughs> so in the parking lot, she said, you know, I, I want to introduce myself. I said, go, okay, zip. Oh, okay. So then we left there, and she's like, this place is too kitty, right? So we went to another bar. Right, we went to uh, another place. We went to Dugan's, right? I mean, a hole in the wall, you know. Oh, yeah, I might know about right? Dugan's. So we went to Dugan's, and, you know, we partied and, and drinks and, and had a good time. That's it. The expectation was set by her from gate. As soon as I met her, you have to throw that innuendo out. I mean, you got to be subtle. But when you say, hey, let's go out, let's have drinks, you know, eat, you've already set the expectation. Not based upon attractiveness, but based upon a dollar sign. And then dollar sign is is the ball in your court. You're Serena right now. You right. you know you Serena. So 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 let's ask uh, Mike. Talk so what do some of your buddies say about the dating scene in Atlanta? I mean, it's all about it's what trash. you want. Like it's all about what you want. You know. So so there's all kinds of pickings out there, but I mean, do most of them sit back and talk about getting you know? Uh, felt like they got beat or felt like yeah. they wasted their time. That only happened if you let it happen. Period. You know what I mean? Period. Yeah. You got to know what you what right. you want out of the situation. You mm-hmm. got to be direct. I feel like that only happened to people that let it happen to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's my opinion. So what did some of your girlfriends say about the dating scene out here, Dominique? They all gay now. That's oh, what they man. say. No. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a, you know. It, <laughs> wow. Up a dip. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I feel like, yeah. I, okay, so I have a, a you know. Come with the rainbow coil. <laughs> I have different levels of female friends. So, you know, you got some that's a little bit more wild. So they good with it because they, you know, that's what they doing. They making lists and they going out and eating oysters and doing all that. But then I got the ones that's trying to get married and have kids. So then they, they're in the ballpark like, oh, my God, it's just not working out because, you know, whatever. So, you know. It just depends on like like Mike said. It depends on what you want out of the situation. If you wanna, if you looking for fun, it's a lot of that. If you looking for serious seriousness, you gonna have to go to them places where you got those kind of men that's bringing that type of energy, or meeting those kind of men that's bringing that type of energy. I mean, that's it. You really gotta take your time and get to know people. And I feel like everybody's so into the instant gratification, they forget to learn the person. They forget to know the person. Like. What difference does it make about where we going to understand each other and see if this is even something that we want to do? Like we're getting so far away from the the root of the oh, you know the purpose of it anyway. It's to figure out oh we trying to grow, we trying to make this happen, or we out here we just trying to have fun. Like what we trying to do? So we kind of dehumanizing ourselves and dealing with people because yeah, yeah. people people lead with lies, people stick with the lies, <laughs> right? And you don't you know I I, I just think. In society, you know, it's so fake out here now, and, and it's almost like, you know, it was a commercial a long time ago, is it live or is it Memorex? You don't know what's real and what's not, because I, I feel like, you know, just through people I talk to, people can play the game for a long time now. Oh, like, yes. in my era, you, 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 got, you maybe got a couple of weeks to play the game, but now they got people play the game six, seven, eight months a year. They play the game until they accomplish what they want to accomplish. Oh, yeah, they do, for sure. Yeah. But so. I feel like nowadays, it ain't, it's, it's everything is about uh, a photo op, like, um, like he said, like everybody looking at, oh, let me take a nice picture for the gram of my food or my drink or ah, the section that we sitting in or whatever the case may be, or the sign, the menu. You know, that's what it's about. It's not even about to, it's not about the getting to know anymore. It's Agreed. like. It, this is just a thing. Every, you got to see. Everybody got to see your every move. Like, that's what we're into. So, we spend more time arguing and, and not agreeing with each other and not trying to figure things out. We, we're getting a, we're getting far away from the okay, goal. Okay, okay. Hold, let me interject, right? As, as a businessman, again, right? We have, we have three subsections of generational divide, right? 
Which one is your significant other? Which, Neither. Okay, so this your friend or his mm-hmm. friend? Uh, we all no. Okay. no, everybody is so part. Don't, look, don't so we come in here trying to pull, pull off an orchard? You come in here trying to pull off the orchard no, 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 See, see. <laughs> okay, Dominique, yeah. you keep interjecting we, okay? There are three subsections of, of generation, right? We have okay. baby boomers. Mm-hmm. I'm Generation X. Now, millennials, right? Now, everybody can't do the same thing, yeah. so let's remove we. Right. Oh no no no! We can't we can't because I just dated an older guy and it was the same thing. You didn't date me as an older. But, guy. Okay, but if you're not the only, you're not the only. You're not you, the that's only. That's what you say. You ain't date me. No, <laughs> he, he, nah, you didn't date him. I didn't. But what I'm saying Wait. is, he was still older. How but old? but older how? how? How much older? Ten years. What what? So so don't count. I, it do count. I, I always say this. Why not? Because he might have the maturity. There's a lot of men my age and older up to his age okay, still but playing the field because they got it like that. Well, this is let me say this. So then we could, so then we a, could, we could comfortably say it's a we thing because it don't got nothing with the gen- it don't have nothing to do with no, the generation. I, because life opinion. life has life is about wisdom and knowledge. Period. Not it ain't not it's not about age. Because guess what? You got some 50, 30, 40, 50 year old people out here that's very immature. And then you got some 30, 40, 50 people that's mature. Then you got some 20, 30, 40, 50 people that's mature. So it has nothing to do with age. It has to do with who that person is. Because some, a lot of people, you know, like you say. So we can't put it in the plural. At at, at 50 years old, at 50 years old, I feel like. You shouldn't be hanging in no daggone nightclub every week. What you going to the nightclub every week? I go, I go to the lake house. I you go. I go take trips. But I, but, but, but that's that's you. So club. but what she's saying is Unless that unless you own the club, don't go to the club. For, for what we dealing with, we do. We're not talking about the masses. She's talking about the individual she has dealt with. So or what's out here in general? I mean, I I, ain't I don't got nothing to do with me. Right, it don't. I'm not. Well, but you I'm don't not, have to but, take it personal if you don't right. know. I'm to saying, well, I can't. I can say we because I don't care if they 25, 35, 45, 55. I didn't see them, and they. It's all we're all in the same pool right now because everybody's still in this same space of social media, instant gratification. Nobody wants to take stuff serious. I don't care how old you are now because this is what I've seen. I've experienced things. My friends have. We've all experienced it, and they date older guys, sixty and up. I'm not into that. But hey, to each his own. So I can't say that I. We can't say we because we can't. Well, I'm so what do you feel about Mike, it, Mike? I, what, well, go ahead, Mike. Go from ahead. that, from that, from what she just said. When you look at it from an age perspective, what do you what do you think? I kind of agree with what you said. It's more about that individual, yeah, and where they at. You know what I mean? Because you got some mature, younger people. You got some immature, older people. So I, just, I, mean, I think it just depends on who you're dealing with. I was I was in Vegas uh, with, with with my lady friend, right? We took a trip after my father passed, right? Had a chance to go see uh, Usher. We just wanted to go see a show. Never been out there. So in the, in the early in the morning, uh, it was a Bill Maher. You know, it was a it was a panel, and he explained two significant problems. One included by like, what's going on with the main shooting, right? And then the second one is social. He he turned to Bill Maher and said, "Man, how are you, do you go on social?" He's like, "No, I'm 60 years old." What's happening is. Social media and, and 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 these dating websites have messed up the pool because women go in there and they they can select the guy based upon the track. He might be a serial killer. He, he you know they looking for somebody who makes six figures, six foot tall, six pack. But a lot of the women, if there's a larger demographic, would be based upon numbers between a, a one and a ten. Most women, are, uh, most people out here are three, three, fours, and fives. They're normal people, but they go on these dating websites, they go on social media. Looking for supermodels, looking for people that you would not even see in public, not at work, not at church, at any school. And this is juxtaposed to another dangerous demographic that this society has created the most dangerous type of individuals. White men between the ages of 18 to 40 who have no connection to college, university, religious organizations, or family. And when you interject us as a people, the only time I say we or us as a people, we're crushed right in the middle of that. So they out there killing their dates, burying them behind the backyard. Don't even see them no more. So while we playing in the pool, right, white men is, is trying to survive in this same pool. So they got the fin up. Dun, 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 dun. I'm kind of I'm kind of lost in your statement. Yeah, Where are you going so with that? There was two things that he said was the fact that social media. What stood out was that social media and dating websites have messed. So up you saying white men. people are killing people when they go out on dates? Yeah, because the, as far as men, and black people don't outer, do that. The outer the outer larger population is white men. Let's just keep it real. 
right? Okay. They're shrinking. Then the inside is Latino men and then Asian men and then us. And wait, wait, wait a minute. See, we we getting them now. Do we? Are, so so where you get these stats from, man? It was on the TV show. You said Bill Maher gave you. Yeah, these so stats. I'm, this was an, a, this was an opinion from a journalist. This was an opinion. But so, you said the journalist was Bill Maher. No, he was this journalist. Well, who was the? Louis, well, was where did Bill Maher come into play? Because this journalist from from Wall Street Journal. He was he was from New York Times. He was a uh, uh, on the Bill Maher show while I was out there in uh, Vegas last <laughs> night. So he's just giving his opinion in the and, and so his opinion was because we don't want to we, we don't want to sit here and, and make a statement and say white men are no 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 you he, got he, on a date with him you're gonna die he, he, no, he, we he, don't want to no, say no, that no, here he, so he, that he, is he, our he disclaimer so soon our disclaimer is, <laughs> let me make our disclaimer. You can go out with white men, and what it is is what it is. We are not saying that white men are going to kill you. No, no, so we are, we are not they saying said, that. They said that. But he said the, the one thing of his opinion that stood out most was that social media and the, and the Internet and these dating websites have really destroyed human interaction and socialization. That's, that's well, well we do out. know that, that yeah. social media has destroyed human interaction because most people – Sitting in the same room with you, you go to a restaurant and people, five, six people sitting at a at the table, on everybody on their cell phone. Nobody's talking to nobody, mm -hmm. so you you don't have human interaction right there. Well, let's, let's ask you a question, Dominique. Mm -hmm. Dominique, your friends that that you know that are intending to to marry, they're looking for a long term relationship, mm -hmm. and the ones that's also dating. Right? Let's just use those two groups. Mm -hmm. Where are they finding people to to meet? Where are they meeting people? I mean, some of them they've met at work. Um, <coughs> some of them they will Church. go to no the, the store. Mm, I mean, Probably. I guess the Is gym. That yeah, I mean, I know the gym. Um, you know, they've met them at work, or they'll you know go to Frankie's and sit there during a certain hour, go to the bar, and that's what's what they on, what's on there, Frankie's. <laughs> uh, you, you just said they're Frankie's. Yeah, they are. Right, right. They be they be there. I ain't have stepped in. So, oh, so those, 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 those young ladies that sitting there, Frankie's, right there, at, at whatever time they go, they know what time to go. Mm -hmm. Are they the oyster people? Sound no, like the they're not the main people. They're not all of them. All of them are not the oyster people, but they are looking for that man. So they are looking for a certain type yes. of man. Oh, yeah. So wait, yes. are they the boogle for? Okay, <laughs> let's let's go there. Let, let's go there with boogle. you, Dominique. <laughs> Because I think that's another thing. Frankie, but I, I, be Book of Wolf. Well, <laughs> I, I, that's what I think. Another thing here in in especially here in Atlanta, I can speak about Atlanta because I live here. There's so many people faking until they make it that you can go to Frankie's and set up there, and it can be somebody up there that you know faking it, just like you faking it, right? right. <laughs> so you know, how do you deal with that concept? How, let me ask, let me throw this question out to the to y'all. Okay. How do you? Well, how can you really pick up on somebody that's faking it? You know that they're faking it. Their lips are moving. As soon as they start talking, they ask you a whole bunch of questions, and, and, and they come with all these requirements. And then when the bill comes, you look down $185. How many crab cakes? There you go. They come with an agenda. Everyone comes with an agenda. Every human being has one thing in so, common. So let's go here. Motive. So you saying everyone. She everyone. said we. You told her she couldn't use we, but you're using everyone. Everyone. Every human I don't being. think everybody has Every a motive. Every human being has one thing in common, which is self-interest. That's their motive. Uh, uh, so yeah, self-preservation is the number one thing about life. But no, 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 I didn't say self-preservation. I said, I said self Everybody, motive, motive. no, everybody, everybody don't have a self motive for themselves. Come on, Come, so you have a self motive for yourself. Every every time yes. you go out, every time you go out with a young lady, you have a self motive. Yeah, and what is that motive? Eighty percent of it. What is that motive? We're fun. not changing the well, narrative here. What fun. is the motive? What is fun. you're lying? And see, see now, fun. I'm saying you know, it, <laughs> it, it, okay. In your fun, it, does your fun end up in having sex? Fifteen percent of the time. You're lying again. <laughs> you're lying. See, so 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 you're lying. You you, you you know what? You know you know you know better you know better than the than the oyster lady. You know better than the oyster lady. She was a booger wood. Hey, Mike, did you see her? I haven't. Dominic, did you I see her? I, I did not. Pull it up. Pull it up. 
She, I mean, she, but at the end of the day, again, it comes we with intentions. Her. So your intentions, when, when you go out, out, you try and hit. Like, her intentions, she try and eat. Did Y'all both him? wrong. Did you see him the day? I didn't see none of them. I just heard the video. I don't comment. I don't, come, I don't not comment on threes, fours, and fives. That it, it's not in my league. No, I'm sorry. Look at what. Well, 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 I'm going to Frankie's, and I see she. M- she you starting to make this a real Instagram conversation? Because we've been sitting. You here said most women. You said it. That most women are three, fours, and fives. No, I said most human beings are normal looking people. And what does people, that mean, though? Yeah, because what does that mean? You might be a one to somebody, but to somebody else, you might be no, a. No, I'm not talking about perspective. No, no, no. Oh, those, what do you mean? Don't say beauty is in the eye to behold it. That bullshit went out. That's not true. No. Because everybody people. don't think everybody look good. That's okay, crazy. okay. Forget Frankie's. They dressed up. They smelling good. It don't they matter where they at. They could be outside at the grocery store. It don't matter. What I'm saying is, you can't All speak the on the next that you person. Name, I ain't meet nobody there. That's out. Well, but, are you but, going but, in? But, but what you doing? Are you going in? Because there's some baddies that be at, at the at the restaurant. Slurping oysters. But but here's the thing. Here's the ready, thing. Ready to you you me. talking personal. You're not talking generalized. I'm just being facetious. You know me. No no. We ain't being facetious. Whole week we, you know what? Facetious. There's a lot of truth in being facetious. Yes. You but know that. The thing is, though, we so, and thing. you being facetious, you're telling a lot of truth of who is you this are. Attack on my character? My yes, it is an attack on your character. No, because you know, unk, don't the uncle gonna give you the truth? <laughs> uncle gonna give you the truth. So, and when you be facetious, facetious is part of right, me. Let, let, me getting to know who you are. Let, let's let's take let, let's okay. I want to say I'm a betting man. I'll say it like this, right? I'm gonna say I'm going to go out in the field. And I'm going to do some interview. I'm going to do some research. I'm a researcher. I'm a scientist. Right? I'm going to go to Frankie's. Not just like this. Not today. Right? But You can go to Frankie's like that. No, no, no. I'm just talking about me. Since we're making this personal. Okay. Right? Me. Me here. Mm-hmm. So you're going to put your me. little suit jacket on mm-hmm. and right? stuff like that. Because I would rather go to Cut Steakhouse. You know what Cut's is? Mm-hmm. No. Exactly. Okay. So the choice is why Frankie's? Why Why? Why? why, why we right around the corner. Why Frankie's? Frankie's is a, is a no, considered no, an upscale no, restaurant. It is a considered an upscale Here? restaurant. Here? Frankie's is a part of uh, the, 18, the, 18, the 20, chop and no, all that. It is so. It's still a chain because this Booger Wolf went down to Virginia Highland. She she met him right at in Virginia. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let's, do, do. M- Mustafa. Why are we meeting here? How are you going to say Frankie's is not <laughs> part of chops and all Did that? You say earlier it's a chain. What listen what I'm say saying? Part of for for the most part, I think most restaurants what would you say? Most restaurants that that I know, even upscale places, they have a I got a place here in right. Detroit, I got a place there in Baltimore, I got a place in Virginia. That's a chain. All right, but, but right I mean, or wrong. I mean, I mean facts aside. It, it, is that a chain? No, Frank, no, no matter how up Frank. wait a minute, what, calm down. No matter how upscale it is, it still become a chain. You know, because they call it a what? A franchise. Once you got three or more, you can become franchise, and that makes it a chain. Right. right. So, or you may have a sister restaurant. Right. You know, it may be Which another they name. They do. Right. Like the Darden. Darden has sister restaurants like Bahama Breeze, Red Lobster. All that is Darden. You know, so all those restaurants where you think is stand alone, where they under this one corporation. So it's they become chain restaurant. So to set up, to me, I think Cheesecake Factory is a nice place. You know what I mean? Uh, matter of fact, part of Darden, part of Darden restaurants is season fifty-two. You think season fifty-two a nice restaurant? Because me and Dorshell do. <laughs> <laughs> we think that. I, I, I haven't been to the to the to the uh, the new one, but I was just saying, why would you choose? What to difference go? does it make? Because they 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 there for one reason. Okay, but what difference does it make? Because if they was at what you saying cuts, what they what they there for? Same thing. Okay, so what is your point? Get to the point because I'm not understanding what point you're trying Mike, to make. Mike, Mike, don't don't go to Frankie. Don't go with near near cut. Don't go <laughs> nowhere where you're gonna get with that two hundred dollar, one hundred eighty five dollars. But why you feel like that? Everybody, well, not, I, I, everybody. I, I, not, I've been to Frankie's. You've been to Frankie's, right? Yeah, yeah, I've been to Frankie's. What did you think? It was decent. It was okay. Yeah, you know? decent. It was decent. But it's all been going been back to what you said. Been, going back to honest, it's nice, but the, the I wasn't too impressed with the food. Where? But I, at the time, I was vegan, so I really haven't been able to, you know, really try what they're known for as far as right. the steaks and all that type so, of stuff. So, so have you have you been to Whiskey Mistress? Oh uh, yes. Okay, so you see, I never eaten there though. I've no, 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 no. I mean, because he he, had, he really didn't drink there either because he was not drinking that week. No, no. But no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying the, the 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 main topic is the main point rather uh, is places upscale. 
places. Uh, what's that place across the street from the uh, uh, the kebab? You know what kebab place is right there, Piedmont and Peachtree, right there Piedmont, past Piedmont. the ice store. Yeah. Kebab right? land is that? Yeah, across the street. What is that? The Cuban. Cuban Lounge or whatever. I, you know, I don't get a chance to go. You must stop. I must stop. What's why the, do people go the to these upscale places? They but, go in there. Okay, to but I'm gonna tell you they why. Going there, this I, is I, like, no, let's no, tell you why. They're going there because they're looking for a quality man. Exactly. Don't oh, God, God, it is. Why, why you see? That's what I'm saying. Stop. Don't we'll nobody want to. Everybody don't want that. Every some some women want doctors. Some women want lawyers. So they gonna go to the place where those guys. They going to the golf the golf club. That's where they going to find what they want. Period. Everybody not on social media trying to find no man they're not they're not it, that's not what they want so you have to put yourself in those places in order to get what you want exactly you know, everybody not trying to eat oysters and just use somebody that's man. not always the case and I feel like that's how men be trying to push it like how you trying to give it you're no, absolutely no, no, that's a, that's not, no that's not a period. Period. I, I say this let me say this and, wait a minute Mustafa let me say why this why do people go to these well, well, well let me explain let, let, let me explain yes, yes. Let, let me explain no there's nothing wrong with a woman going to a quality restaurant looking for a quality dude. It's time to listen. I didn't say that. It's time to listen. You would go somewhere. If you're looking for a quality woman, right, you're not going to go. If you know that uh, Phipps Plaza, because of all the, the Gucci stores and Louis Vuitton stuff, they carry a certain quality of people that go to that. You're not going to go. If you know those people are sitting there and you're looking for a quality type woman, you ain't going up here to Gwinnett Mall. You can go. You can go to Phipps Plaza because there's a certain quality of woman that's that fit. You do. We do it as men and looking for a certain quality of woman. We may not. We may not get uh, uh, looked at like women do when it comes to doing that. But still, men go certain places looking for quality women. Men do it too. So. I, I, as a as a man, as a host, as a person that's speaking, I, I can't let you sit here and just put that on women because men do the same thing. Men, that's, that's, men go out. Now I'm gonna tell you. Now I do believe this. Now this is one thing I do believe. <clears throat> you can take a man that's pretty much, you know, pretty. Uh, he could be a wealthy dude or pretty much financially well, right? That dude could work up in the McDonald's, and if it's a pretty young lady up in there, he'll entertain her. He'll be like, you know what, hey, why don't we go out and da-da-da, he'll entertain her. Now, you take a woman that's pretty wealthy, and she walk up into that m- model, I don't care whether that joker look like Denzel, Tyson, Beffin, she's going to say, can you please serve me my burger? 100%. Uh, 100%. Right. That was my whole point. Thank you. That's that's experience. But you didn't get to the point. No, nah, that's, that's for you to answer. You're the most experienced one. You know, it's your show. I'm going to let you get to that. It drove the boat. But, the boat went the exact way I wanted it to go. But I didn't want you to sit here and and put the put it all on women because they're going places and and that's basically what you said. I'm glad can read, I'm, no, and you know I'm what? Like that, that commercial. I'm glad like that commercial. You don't want to throw the red flag and no, look no, at no. the replay. The reason why I agree with that with them going to upscale places is because automatically it's cutting out the suckers. Forget red roof. We have the MGM Grand. They, they ain't gonna go there. That type of man. But a scammer's in there too. So it ain't, it, you know what I'm saying. But the door, the biggest door right there. If Mustafa, you can't get through the biggest it's, door, it's, Mustafa, I ain't gonna let you do that. It's suckers everywhere. What, what do you mean? Just like it's like just like it's no good rotten like it's no good rotten women everywhere. There's suckers everywhere. Well, like I said before, dating is a competitive sport. If you throw a net out this wide. You gonna get what? You gonna get trash? You gonna get sell shellfish? You gonna get a couple of carrots? Whatever, women. But guess what? The place men and women that go to this but place. But guess what? They got a smaller, thinner net. E- even if you throw that net out wide and you get all this garbage, right? You still gotta pick through it. Those, those places you still gotta for, pick through. But it. those places are still the, for the big. Anglers, so guess what? The big. You, you might throw away. You might throw away an oyster that got the finest pearl in it because it don't look like what, what you, you want. Splitting heads though. But when it comes to the dating, but scene, I, I'm just addressing what you saying because I, no, I don't no, no, agree no, with you putting no. this high anus on women, just women, when men do it too. I never said that. Why you, you focusing say that? on me? Uh, Mike, Mike, is because Mike is quiet. My man in the corner is quiet. <laughs> right? Because you only doing this because this is the first time I've sat across you. I always No, it's because right. of the things that you're saying. The way that I, no, no, no. The way that is not what I'm saying. It's where I'm saying and how I'm saying it and where I'm saying it. 
right? No, I'm it's not about yeah, that. I, you know, I'm, I'm a fan man. man. You. No, you're well, not. All right, no, Mike. No, no, no okay, well, we're going to give Mike a chance to just, speak. But no. what, what do you think when it Mike comes to... Mike, don't be quiet. He's sitting on you, right? When it comes to... I no problems. Mr. Albert, hold up. When it comes to... When it comes to... Women going somewhere to meet nice men or men going somewhere to my... What, what do you think? What do I you think, think everybody do it. You know what I mean? To an extent, I think everybody do it. I mean, if you want, if you know what you want, you're going to go to where it's at. That's just point blank, point blank period, I feel like. So if you like nice stuff, you're going to go where people have nice stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. You're not going to go where people don't have nice stuff. Mm. Let's have your viewpoint. Go ahead. You already know. I, yeah. that's, I, I say what I had to say. Um, I mean, I... I go where I want to go. And mm-hmm. I am there. Yeah. So whether it's Applebee's or I'm walking in the park and I meet someone, then hey, that's what it is. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm just, you know, if we if we yeah. vibe, then we do. But no, I'm not saying that I'm going to these high intel restaurants so that I can find this certain man. No. Yeah. That's not what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. It, it got to be a natural thing for mm-hmm. me. It got to just happen. The universe just got to bring that person. Exactly. That's just how they go. I'm, I'm not I'm not that. So. <laughs> And for know. for the most part, even the women that's out here pulling this trickery. Mm. <laughs> In what way, like fake? I mean, like the oysters and all that. Guess what? And see, I'm I'm a fag guy when it comes to this whole scene type stuff because the thing about it is that the dude really entertained her because he was DMing her too. Now, somewhere along the line. He should have got a message like this woman really don't like me. She 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 because she even said. You know, he did. He was doing it for weeks and weeks and never got a response. Now, all of a sudden, I ain't got nothing to do. And this joke is still DMing. Okay, let's go there. Let's mm-hmm. go there. So I'm saying where she's wrong at, she's wrong for going to this restaurant and getting all these yeah, oysters yeah. and, and yeah, going like, and yeah, going overboard. Yeah, so I put it all on her. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And that's though. what I'm saying. Yeah, you can't put it all on her. I I'm, I'm, no, I said where she's wrong for going in order all. I put it on him because of the mere fact that you DMing somebody a whole week and they ain't DMing it. That should taste you. And all of a sudden, Fact. boom. Right. It, That's why I say everybody got to be accountable in that situation. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. don't take that long to figure out somebody yeah. like you or not. Exactly. Right. I mean, but like I said before, I really believe, like you hear in the audio, you. she was doing that just for a photo op. You hear it in the audio, oh, girl. So he allowed her to keep ordering. She did it. Like I said before, we had a week to ponder this. She... Did that all for one thing? As, as as a young lady, I can look through her perspective. She did that to impress her circle of friends. She used him, and he, <laughs> and he allowed it. Exactly. And then he turned around, and then you want to get up and leave? Hold up, sucker! Uh, back up. Exactly. He should have said like men would be like, hold on. Now you know that you, when you get used, right? I, I accommodated you. I met you here. Whatever. We we are in an upscale part of Atlanta. This is Ponce Highland. This is this is Virginia Highland. It went in Atlantic Station. It went in Buckhead. This is a nice area. This is low pro. So she already knew that, you know, this is Fontaine's. So they are, you know, they have voices, whatever. And he should have said, like you said, um, hey, listen, wait uh, real quick. Uh, this is my drinks, right? I had this many martinis. She had this many margaritas. This is her. This is mine. I'm out. Have a good evening. Yeah, I mean, why I did mean, we have to go to Fontaine's anyway? Why did you just go get but, coffee? But, but, <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, if she I, was, I, was, I, was, I was, see, see, was, see Fontaine's in the red flag. But then here's the thing: she not, she not interested. Then she ain't interested in what I'm interested in. Go somewhere regular. Yeah. Exactly. Well, so, she said, ooh, baby. Right. That's his fault. He ain't keep right. that. That's and he might not. Y'all didn't communicate enough. Because you said Fontaine's to me. Yeah, you exactly. That's up there with Fontaine's. Right. Exactly. right. Exactly. If you say Fontaine's to me, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what nothing. that is. I've been there. Like, like, like you say. say talk to me. Like you so, keep saying. Yeah, it was too thirsty. Yeah. You keep saying Virginia Holland. I don't know. I, if, 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 if you were to name 10 restaurants down in Virginia, I don't know. If you said meet me at such and I don't know. Okay, let me, because let me show you exactly what it said. It's maybe, down the street from the old Dugan. Y'all could have went to But what Dugan. I'm saying, what I'm trying to say, Mustafa, he might not even knew. Set you know what I mean? Like, up. Like, like some people don't, no. some people never heard of you Frankie's. You look at the menu before you set up anything. anything. You're not about yeah. to tell me he ain't know where they was about to go. It, no. <laughs> it, no. Oh, he's just I, drink. I, 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 he, right. So you say, yeah, but I, 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 I
See? You knew you was about to take it to Fontaine's and y'all was going to I crazy. take that you something. Women do. Back. Men don't. I don't think most men do that. You know do how it. you what about you to spend your money. Like, you not going to tell me this man don't know all, how he about to spend his f- money. First of all, let me say this. Do what, if, if, I, if I say, if I, if I say I find Dominique track and I'm texting her, DMing him, bye, bye, bye. And I say, let's go out for drinks. I'm going I'm going to pick the place. I know what my pockets can stay in. Why would I let somebody pick a place that I probably don't know nothing about? Well, well, that's that's uncorroborated. Let, let, let's leave that alone. We don't know if either one of them picked it, but I don't know how to be Fontaine. Neither one of you Negroes don't even know it. And she sound like she from Fourth Ward. But so that don't mean nothing. Is it y'all pick Fontaine? Miss Stafford, this is how this is how you and I get into it, right? This is how you and I get into it, Miss Stafford. I don't give a darn whether somebody from the fourth ward. I don't care if they're from the hood. That don't mean that they don't have a certain standard that they like. You know what I mean? Let's not do. See, I, it's that, that bothers me. Yuppie boy. No, but, but, but I, 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 I don't know. I just felt like at the end of the day, y'all could have just brought it down a little bit. Like if we was really truly trying to get to know each other, and both of us wasn't in for something, I wanted your money, you wanted this ass. If that wasn't the case, we could have just rode bikes. We could have right. Let's go walk out the ball. We could have. Yeah, we could have the centennial and had a snack. We had had a picnic. It could have. Yeah. Right. We didn't have to do it on that scale, but everybody's intentions were wrong, so they all both went with it. Exactly. Yeah. Both, and all the time. I totally agree with that. He, what, was that what was that recent concert? I went last year, right? And it was kind of a little bit kind of youth. I mean, younger. Oh, come on, the T.I. Free concert? The, the one, no, uh, it was in the, uh, was it over at Civic Center. What was it, a main event or one uh, one main event? One, music, music. one music festival? Yes, yeah, so, so okay. I went to, it was fun. They could have went to do, did something. I mean, it was. How much did it cost? Well, the VIP interest was about like 2500 to 5000 if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it a real experience. Hey, Masafa, I'm getting to know you. I don't know you. <laughs> they, I'm not getting to know you. I'm not. I, I wouldn't give a damn if I had a whole bunch of money. I ain't paying no $2,500. I don't know you. But I'm saying you Before I do that, I'm going to call my man. Hey, my man. You, come on, man. Let's go on down here. Who's it? One music. Because guess what? I know my man. No, the tickets. Okay, if you went online and booked early, the tickets was just no more than like, wait, we paid like 40 a piece. We had friends came in from, and family came in from. Miss Stafford, you done went from 40 to 25, 25. It, it was based upon, uh, upon, uh, 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 um, I'm with Dominique. I ain't even spending $40 on you but, until I get to but, know but you. But Dominique was right. The prerogative is the fact that if you was going to do all that, let's go, let's go do something. Let's go have some fun. The one music festival would have been fun. We sent Jeezy, T.I., yeah, they had Let drinks, me. they had booths and everything. Then you would have really get to see how this person or well, taste is. Right, Let right, me tell you right, something. Right, right. Or go to Atlantic. Go to Costco. I, right, right, right. Some samples. Yeah, I, and you're right. Levels. Because it's guess levels. what? I think you should always be you. Like, when I met my wife, okay, and I said, hey, let me take you out to dinner. We went to Old Charlie. I said, we're going to Old Charlie's 2 for 20. <laughs> That's what we did. And when she got there and was looking through that mirror, I said, I don't know why you're looking through that mirror. <laughs> we're doing 2 for 20. But, but, guess what? She she would have said, Every time. this joke are cheap. Or I would have said, oh, she too bougie, right? Mm-hmm. But it was the point of, I was seeing that she was in it for me or she was in it for whatever else reason she made. But, here it is, seven years seven later, years and we married. Up. So guess what? But, 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 then, but, then it was then when we when we start maturing in our relationship, it was right. if you act, you pay. You know what I mean? So you can set up and say, "Hey, you want to go to movies? Sure, I go. You paying?" <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just think people not real with people. You know what I mean? Yeah. They they what's they what's just what's out there just trying to oh, oh, say say what you said, right? I'll never, this is a beautiful story. Y'all, y'all listen. Because he said the reason why he did that, same way with the minivan. I was, hey nephew, I'm, 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 I'm about to test her gangster. I want to see what I want to see what head at right two for twenty. And then you said, well, uh, Miss Dorsey said, uh, well, can I have a drink? I, I, don't, I don't pay for drinks. I did <laughs> tell that for a long time. She know, and, and guess what? Because she was <laughs> Dorsey would go somewhere, and we would go somewhere, and Dorsey would set up and tell people she order drink, and she said, hey. Give me the check for that because he don't pay for drinks. <laughs> but, Facts. That, but you know, but that that was letting her. But guess what? We vibe. It was certain things she wouldn't do, certain things I wouldn't do, but we vibe. Mm-hmm. But that let us know, hey, we, we, I'm, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here right. to get to know you. I'm here to get to know you. It ain't about this food. It ain't about these drinks. It ain't about this. Right. We, let's get to know each other. 
But 48, the waist is, I mean, I mean, come on. Sis. And she was slurping them, too. Yeah, right. That, right, right there. That was the sound effect. The slurping, I would have liked. That was the sound effect. I was like, I'm out. Cause cause I can't handle it. It's an aphrodisiac. Maybe she was trying to get ready that for what you No, she wasn't trying to get ready. I don't want no booger wolf get real. If, if that's the case, you should have laid your blue pill on the table. Put it up, man. I want to see what she look like. Yeah, uh, say. You know, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's a different space. I would have said, look. I really do. I would have like okay, Shannon okay, Shaw. Mike. Look, Mike, if you pull up this 40, if you eat them swallowing 48 oysters, you can ready to do something with this blue pill, man. Let me see what that mouth do. You can ready to do something with this blue pill. Well, Mike, Mike, hold on, hold on. Let's start off with name name first, right? I'm, no. I'm going to be a little biased. Her name is Iquana. Yeah. No, sir. Young, young fella. No, come sir. on, come on. So, wait, let me, no, ask, let me throw a question okay, out go ahead. I want to know, because while we on the topic of how people find people, so... You said you got you got a lady. What? How did you find her? Was that outside? Did you know her from work? How did oh, you? Oh, oh, well, we, tell the truth, we, shame no, the no, devil. No, we met. Well, one is that we we pass each other several times, right? Okay. And uh, you know, people go through different stages of life. And she was attracted, but I wasn't noticing her because I wasn't I wasn't in that mode, M O D E. Right. So when I finally met her, she was with a family member, and she had the family member speak to me. Right, and she has, you know, I seen me a couple of times, and then the next time when we got involved was I was in the mold. I had got back from New York. My grandmother, you know, I had a family. My grandmother had died, and that's when I really started to live my life. My perspective was I was ready. Y'all women got to meet the man. You got to meet people where they're at. And sometimes leave them there. I was. I had just turned. Uh, I had just turned forty-one years old. Forty. Uh, Forty-one. Yeah, just got back from New York. It's the last time I've been to New York. My grandmother had died, and subsequently, I had several members, several family members that were were very pivotal in my life. Passed back to back to back. So the reason why she became a, 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 a pivotal person in my life was that I, a man has to make the decision to be a man and say, "I'm ready." All right. Now, and I'm not talking about monogamy. I'm not talking about anything about sexual or whatever. When she became what 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 the, what the, what we call that your your plus one or your your, your day one? Mm-hmm. I my life started for me at forty forty one because I made a decision and she fit the decision. So again, how did you meet her? Like was she a family friend? She was no she 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 we we met uh, we lived near each other and we kept passing okay. by each so other right and we the and, neighborhood. Yeah, so, so who made the, the initial contact? She did right and I didn't respond. Right, because I said I wasn't in the mold. Now, when I came back from the moment I got off the plane, came from the airport, I seen her. She was at the airport. No, when I got home, I left the airport. Right, came home. Oh, okay. Right? When I came home, when I was in the neighborhood, I went back out. And I was I was out on the walk, and I walked past her while she was sitting in the car. Right, she lived on the other end of the complex, so I was cutting through the complex, going to the store, minding my business, whatever. It's like, whew, I got you know stressed out. When I walked past her. That's when I recognized because she was not in the car. So, you know, the CIA, the CIA tactics kicked in. The training kicked in. I seen her, but she wasn't sitting in the car that I seen in initially. She was with her cousin. This time she was sitting in the uh, driver's seat in a, a, a red uh, form. It was, it was a red Volvo. The first time I seen her, she was with her cousin. She was sitting in the passenger seat in a black Acura. Brain kicked in, and she just looked so young and, and 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 pleasant, you know. It was like a sentimental moment because I was for ready. you, for both of us. You know what I mean, the, from the moment we met, just you know, we've been tearing it up. And like, this why? is the partner you with now. It's the same one you see me with, you know. Okay, so y'all met in Not the part- neighborhood. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's why I'm. So that's, that's been my day one. That's been my. Okay, that's been so my you answered the question. Okay, you was elongated okay. about it, but you met in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, because okay. I'm just trying to walking figure through, out like. <laughs> Like, how was supposed to be done? I'm just trying to play. Look, look, we made it in the bar. We Man and Dominique. We passed by each other in the bar. <laughs> Man and Dominique is uh-huh. straight to the point type people. No, 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 no. All the places that Dominique. you mentioned. Look, 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 look. No, Dominique, look, look. Uh-uh. All those places that you mentioned, I passed by you. You don't want to try to find hey, Just tell we, them. Know, we the need, bar, Mike, Mike. We bar. need to know about the CIA <laughs> mission and all that. We want to know where you met. I was on a mission because all those places that you said, Dominique, all those, all those upscale restaurants right. and, 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 and bars and, and all those little events. She even seen me at the mall. I was with you. I was with you. Remember we worked Don't together? Don't put me in it. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Don't put me in it. 
was, I was you know, I done got older, so my memory didn't got short. That's why I ain't no, saying no. nothing. <laughs> when we, when I, when I, when I, and then, plus, I was at work. Work? Okay. In the bar, restaurant, I was with some other uh, knucklehead, whatever. So, <laughs> skip, skip, skip the bar. Skip the uh, work, skip the restaurant, skip all the other place. I just met her all by myself. What, what no, 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 but I'm just trying to figure out, like, where like where do you find your quality people? Like, you said good you question, found it in the neighborhood. Question. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, it was quality that she invited me up for a nightcap. I ain't okay, telling you that. Okay, that's now. cool. I walked Mike. in. I'm going to do it like Richard Pryor. When what? I walked in the house, right, <laughs> see, I turned on screen. First thing that came on, Mike, was, was ESPN. Mm. I said, well, shit, that, that's it. And when we went out on our first date, right, I keep my passport in my pocket. I'm Dutch, period, all the time. We went up there. She said, baby, you know, uh, she's going to drop me off at work. No, 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 we went to Chili's. But the first time we really real out on a real Chili's day. is upscale. You know that, right? <laughs> I, I didn't choose it. I didn't choose it. You know, we ordered fajitas. We ordered fajitas, and we split it. But the time that we really, our first real day was, it was it was Atlanta's last, lose, uh, last winning season with Tony Gonzalez. And we were sitting at the bar. We like when we go out. We like to sit at the bar. We know what we gonna order. We know what. So when the bill comes, we already understand what's gonna happen. We got this. We got that. Boom. That's that's our expenses. Like we do everything like a balance sheet. But when she got to yelling at the screen, right? Get him. Get him. What? You know, she was yelling for for the, she was yelling for the defense, right? I said, but baby, we, we we got the ball. She said, oh oh oh. And when I started to teach her about the game, she said, you she fell in love with me because you told her about football. Period. Now that's what I just heard that most women want to be with somebody that, that they can learn, learn from. Something yes, from. they can. Yes, that's that's, that's still the deal right there. When when she found that 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 we was in the kitchen the other day, and I turned around and said, "Baby, AFC North, we went to AFC North." Uh, but, uh, 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 why you do that? And her family was like, "Y'all do that all the time. We do it all the time." And then you said, "Baby, who lose more than any NFL team ever? The Steelers, the are, Falcons, are the, are the worst team. <laughs> the Falcons, Steelers. The Falcons. <laughs> then, Steelers lost then you say, the baby, Jackson. you say, baby, we who said. was up twenty eight to nothing at halftime and they lost the Super nah, Bowl? I said, I said, baby, did you bet the parlay and the over under on that Steelers and, and Jets? She said, yes, I did. You know what I'm saying? We going to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but we got to know you met her <laughs> just coming by in, in the neighborhood." Yeah. Yeah, so, we fell in love cool. over football. So, so she's from the home of football. <laughs> so, so what we're saying is, is that you know what? It doesn't take forty-eight oysters. <laughs> it doesn't take drinking yes. at the bar. Right. It doesn't take social media. Right. You know, you have to develop ways of knowing the person that you want to entertain, the quality <clears> of person <throat> you want to entertain. You know, uh, to the point that. You know, whether it's the park, whether it's the library, whether it's a high-class restaurant, whether it's Applebee's, you make that determination. You know what I mean? We're not here to judge the person because you never know the person's situation. We don't judge you on your name, where you live at. You know, that has nothing to do with it because you live in the hood don't mean that you can't be a quality person because you, you, can, you can live upscale and be a hood rat. You know what I mean? So we're just saying that to say, you know what? Um, when you go out to meet, really invest some time into who you're around to get to know that person, you know. And we just, we really want to thank y'all guys for listening to us. You can listen to us on peoplethinkaboutit.com. You can go to our podcast page. You can go to our Facebook page. You can also donate to People Think About It at uh, peoplethinkaboutit.com. You, if you want to be a part of the show, you can go to our pod page and register and become a guest. You can go to uh, email us at people think about it at gmail.com. We can be listened to on all the podcast uh, outlets. So we want to thank our guests, Mustafa, our co host, Dominique, and Mike. We want to thank y'all for coming and being a part of this. And we want to just get y'all to know that next week we're still going to be on a relationship type thing. So uh, if you want to be a part of it, hey, come on in. So thank you for listening to People Think About It. And once again, you have been listening to people think about it. Be sure to subscribe to the show and share it with your friends so that you never miss an episode. A new episode drops every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Thank you for listening.